hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel how are you doing i hope you're doing great and if you're new welcome so today i'm gonna be trying out this palette by wicked sisters cosmetics and i've never tried this one before and i'm super excited to try it and i also have a lip gloss from them plus i'm also gonna be doing a q a so stay tuned for that and if you want to see how i did this look then keep on watching So today I'm super excited because I'm going to be answering some of your questions and I'm going to be trying for the first time this palette from Wicked Sisters. This one, I don't think it has a name, so I think this is the first one they came out with. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But I just received this in PR and I figured I'd try this one today because I have to run some errands and I think I want something more smoky but not too dramatic today. So I think this is perfect for that. It has a whole bunch of shimmers so it's and i love the background of the sky or galaxy so i'll be using this palette i won't be really talking through that much of what i'm doing i'll just be answering the questions so let's get started i'm going to start with my eyes first today and i'm going to add a little bit of concealer first and i'm using the elf hydrating camo concealer because i love this one it's one of my favorites where is my sponge <laughs> So a couple of videos back, I asked if you guys were interested in a Q&A. And if you were interested, just send me some questions either here or on Instagram. I also asked over there and I got a couple. So I'll start with that. Let me just set this a little bit. So I think I'm going to start with this shade right here all over. And the first question... It's from Lucy's Unboxing Live. She's from YouTube. She's a creator as well. And she asked me what part of Puerto Rico do I live? I live in the northwest part of the island called Aguadilla. And I think you said you're from Ciales, right? I think that's in the mountains, right? In central Puerto Rico, I'm not sure. So yeah, I live all the way over here, which is not bad. I like it. It's just that the cost of living has gone up so exaggerated here <laughs> especially this year it's free it's ridiculous so i'm going to be using this shade right over here i was thinking about the purple i don't know if i should do the purple do i want the purple let's try the purple <laughs> change my mind <laughs> i've tried wicked sisters cosmetics before i have like two palettes i think and some lashes and they're really good super friendly as well so the next question is by sarah and she wants to know what do i prefer recording nail videos or makeup videos and that's a tricky question <laughs> it's a hard question and an easy question <laughs> and i'll explain why in case you didn't know i i'm a nail tech i've been working as a nail tech for 13 years i think at this point i love doing nails it's my passion i started off doing hair i was a hairstylist first in my early 20s and i worked at it for a couple of years but then when i discovered nails i fell in love with nails and i actually stopped doing hair and dedicated myself to doing nails initially i wanted to learn how to do nails to do my own nails so i didn't have to go to a salon because every time i would go to a salon i had bad luck and they wouldn't do them right and i would go home and fix them and file them and shape them and all that crap and i got tired of that so i was like i'm gonna learn how to do my own nails and i did and of course eventually people word got around and family and friends started asking me to do their nails and stuff like that so it gradually became something so that's how i started with nails and i like i said i love it i do and I've been working at it for almost 13 years, or I think already 13 years, or 12 years and a half. I can't remember right now. And I love it. I really, really do love it. It's I don't regret this profession at all. I'm just going to blend this out a little bit. And so when I tried, I've tried YouTube, actually. <laughs> this is embarrassing. But I've tried YouTube. This is my third time trying YouTube. <laughs> I tried YouTube for the first time, like, oh my gosh like in 2010 
and it was a male YouTube and then I stopped I can't remember why and I lost my password and all the information so when I try to go back to it I think it was it got closed it doesn't exist anymore I've tried searching for it and it doesn't exist anymore so it was closed down that was before they did the whole change because you were supposed to have it was some it was some policy that you had to change and you had to confirm and I didn't never did that for that channel so it got closed down and so I got discouraged <laughs> to say the least so I waited a couple of years then I did this one and I started back in I think 2015 if I'm not mistaken started that one this one actually as a nail channel again and I was getting into it and everything but then Maria happened Hurricane Maria happened in 2017 and that paused everything because I know I keep talking about Maria I hate talking about Maria but it, it affected so many areas of my life it's ridiculous so I had to stop I had no power for three months and the internet I didn't have internet access at all for about four months and a half so I stopped that completely then when I finally got power back and all that shit I was supposed to get organized I had to do so many things and I was discouraged completely from doing any type of videos at all so I dropped that for I don't know how long and you know if you drop a channel and you, if you're a creator you don't know that your views go down you lose subscribers you it's just you become like in limbo pretty much and that's what that's exactly what happened to me i think after maria i think i posted like a year later and I, it was like i like i was starting from scratch <laughs> again none of the people that would comment before would even watch my videos anymore i lost basically all my subscribers i was getting zero views zero comments zero everything i was starting from scratch again so i got discouraged again <laughs> i got discouraged so many times it's ridiculous so i got discouraged again because of that and i don't know what else to do here let me see something about this brown oh i like this brown but i do like that one too Ooh, I like this one. I'm gonna put, use this one now. I'm gonna put that in the outer corner. The one I'm talking about is this one. So I waited a year, I lost everything. <laughs> wow, so much fallout. I'm getting so much fallout with this, but it's fine. That's why I wanted to start with my eyes first. I have to clean all that shit. <laughs> so where was I? Yeah. So then gradually i started doing nail videos again here and there once in a while maybe once a month or <laughs> once every two months until i started getting motivated again and slowly but surely i started incorporating makeup into it because i mean makeup is my passion it's my hobby you know nails is more work related even though i like it so now if you see my channel i do both nail and makeup videos but if i have to choose which one i prefer i think i prefer doing makeup videos because it's my hobby it's what i enjoy to do so when i sit down to do a nail video it's more like i'm working even though i'm not i'm doing it for youtube but it feels like i'm working so you know when when you're off from work and the last thing you want to do is work <laughs> So uh, sometimes it's really hard for me to sit down and do a nail video because it feels like I'm working. <laughs> the ones that I do enjoy the most doing of nails is trying out products because I am super excited about that and I'm very curious to know if it works, how's the quality, how the colors look. So I do enjoy doing those type of videos, which by the way, I'm waiting for a package. It's been forever of some gel polishes that I bought I bought like seven different colors and I bought that a long time ago and it's been a month and I still haven't received it that's why I've been holding out on nail videos because I'm waiting for that <laughs> and I still haven't gotten it I cleaned up everything because it was a lot I even had it on my lips I don't know how 
So I already used my glitter primer by NYX, which is my favorite. And now I'm gonna go in with the shimmers and I think I'm gonna go with this one. I was debating between this one and the silver, but I think I'm gonna get the, grab this one. Very shiny. So I got a couple of questions from Lilith Luna. Hey girl. The first one is, were you born in Puerto Rico? No, I was not. I was born in New York. I was born in Queens, New York. We lived there until I was 11. Then my mom was moving back and forth from Puerto Rico to New York. Then we lived a couple of years in Florida. And then in, when I was 15, that's when we moved here officially like to stay, stay. I've been here since I was 15, against my will. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the eyes like that for now so I can do my base and I'm gonna be using I have right here in front of me the L'Oreal Infallible which is my favorite and then this is in shade 420 I love this one a lot it's one pump there and I'll move on to the next question is Puerto Rico as beautiful as the pictures I've seen Puerto Rico is gorgeous it's a beautiful beautiful island there's no complaints there you hear me complaining a lot about me living here, but Puerto Rico is gorgeous. I mean, you can see the mountains, you can see the beach, you can see everything. There's a lot of green stuff, you know? Not everything's concrete unless you go to the metro and then everything over there is just buildings, buildings, and buildings, but not where I live. And it's, I think it's a perfect place to come and do your vacations and have fun and all that shit. To live is completely different. That, that's where my problem comes in because of the electric sy system and now the water and everything's really expensive. Cost of living is pretty expensive. Rent now has skyrocketed, exaggerated as well. It's honestly for me to live in, it's not comfortable. I know a lot of people, I'm gonna get hate by people who live here who adore living here. But that's my opinion and that's my experience and if i don't feel comfortable with it and i don't like it i have my reasons for vacation yes this is stunning it's gorgeous for pictures if you're a beach person and you love the beach we are surrounded by beaches <laughs> i'm not a beach person that's another thing i don't like going and swimming in the ocean i don't like doing that i don't like feeling the sand on me i'm not a beach person i've definitely i've always said that i am in the wrong period time <laughs> I like more the simple days of the 80s and 90s before the whole technology took, took over and just destroyed us completely. I'm being dramatic, yes I know, but that's how I see it. I like that simple life, there was more sense of community, that you'd be forced to talk to people because there was no cell phones to distract you and ignore everybody. It was more, more unity back then, you know, so it was just more simple everything so i was set up in the wrong period and i am in the wrong place because i don't like tropical weather i don't like the beach <laughs> so i'm living somewhere that i don't really like I, I mean i don't like winter either like full-on blizzards and stuff like that no but i don't like a tropical lifestyle either i'm going with the elf halo glow i'm just gonna put that somewhere over here but first I'm gonna conceal a little bit as well and I'm gonna mix it with this and I'm using the same concealer as before and then the next question is do people not have a central AC there no that's not a thing here of course businesses and offices like that have that but not residents don't have that unless you install one at the wall break down the wall and put one of those squared ones or the rectangular ones but only that room would get ac so there's no central system here that's why when i say that i'm melting is because i'm melting <laughs> right now in this room there's no ac at all all you hear is the fan and the second part to that question is how do you survive <laughs> and i don't know how i have been surviving the older that I get, I guess I get my body gets hotter and not in a good way. <laughs> and it's, it's or the heat every year gets worse. 
probably. <laughs> I think that's more realistic. Honestly, every year, summer gets worse and worse and worse. It's, this summer was over 100 degrees. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> I'm going to set my face with something I have here. This is what I have closest to me, the NARS Loose Setting Powder. And she also asked, how long have you been married? Overall, we've been together for 14 years. But living together, it's been seven, I think. We just had our anniversary in October. We went to celebrate at Universal Horror Nights, which I love. I loved it, loved it, loved it. And it was awesome. I definitely want to go back next year if I can. And the last question was, how did you meet? We met through mutual friends. My best friend at the time, her husband was friends with him and his brother. And she introduced us. It was not love at first sight. <laughs> And I, I don't mean that that way. I mean that it was just like a friendship thing. I wasn't interested in anybody at that time. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I, I found him hideous. No, I think he's gorgeous. But it, I wasn't at that mindset at that time. So now I'm going to do the lower lash line. I'm going to do my eyebrows because I feel naked without my eyebrows. I'll be right back. Finish the rest of my face and everything. My eyebrows and everything. And I started off using the first shade that i tried which was this one on my lower lash line i thought i was recording but i wasn't now <coughs> i am healthy going back with the purple again put that in the lower lash line and i am going to use a black from one of the palette because i always gotta have black somewhere <laughs> It's just the way that I am. I'm gonna put that really close to the lower lash line. And also at the top. My hooded eyes. Sometimes they're worse than other times. I guess I guess sometimes they get more swollen. I have no idea. And then I have to even them out because I have one more hooded than the other one. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of shine right in the inner corner with the highlight that I use on my face by e.l.f. It's called White Gold. And a little bit in the brow bone. I'm gonna put on some falsies. Mm, maybe, maybe not. Eyeliner and I'll be back to try a lip product. I put on these lashes from AOA Style Jean. Here. I'm gonna try this one from Wicked Sisters and it's a lip gloss if I'm not mistaken. I love the packaging. This came with the New Wave collection and it's a gold lip gloss. I've never tried their lip glosses so this is the first time that I'm gonna be trying it. Oh wow, it's very, very shiny. <laughs> smells really good it's a beautiful color so i'm gonna try i'm gonna set everything with this one that i forgot to use when i did my unboxing of the ice cream beauty box this came in it and it has spf in it and i forgot to try it so i'm gonna use it now oh my it is harsh it is harsh the the spray i don't know how i feel about the spray of this quite aggressive so this is the final look what do you think i like all the colors i think they're all pretty and they blended great i like the way this feels i think it's very comfortable i don't feel the glitter at all so this is good so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button that helps me out a lot and i'll see you on the next video bye guys so i'm super excited because i'm gonna be answering here we go Still have that cough so so thank you and i'm also i also have a lip a lippy and i also have and if you want to see plus i got some questions that you and if you want to see how i did my wow i don't know 
<coughs> I can't speak. <coughs> I'm healthy. 